Oh, finally. So we're splitting up so we can go look and get the stupid shiny thing now. All right, let's start by investigating the scene of the crime at last. We've only got a few hours until the trial starts. That doesn't give us much time. Let's go, Maya. Right. I'm sure the professor will bring us back something we can work with. Let's be sure to hold up our end of the bargain. You got it, Nick. Let's find some flippin' puzzles. I'm ready. Well, what is it, Maya? It's Espella. Her eyes are all funny again, like last time. Like last time? Yeah, like they were back in London. I mean, it's like she's completely spaced out again. Hmm, now that you mention it. It was almost like she was being controlled by some kind of drug or magic back then. Nuh-uh, no way! This is just downright disgusting! We can't let them get away with this! Yeah, we're definitely on the same page there, Maya. Come on, let's get started. You said it. I'm as serious as a heart attack, Nick. God, Maya. Oh, thank God. Woo, okay, let's go. Up that freaking tower. Up the tower. Oh, no, we still can't. We still can't do it. We're s oh, No, we're going, we're going, we're going. It. Okay, move. Head towards the bell tower. You got it. So this is the thing that appeared, right? The bell tower? Yes, it just kind okay. of magically appeared one day. Figures, there's still a ton of people around. Ugh, people. Well, considering what happened, I guess it's only natural. There seem to be fewer knights, though. Nick, look out! Make way, make way! I'm gonna have to come up with all the vigilante voices. Because I think we're gonna be seeing a lot of them. Uh. Ouch! You wimp! How could you be sent flying by a little bump like that? <laughs> oh, um, excuse me. So he knocks me over and I get yelled at? Uh. Yeah, that's fair. I gotta say, Nick, I think you just had a new record for the most super dramatic fall ever. You flopped like a soccer player. Oh, man. Oh, come on, Maya. What do you expect when someone in a metal suit bumps into someone in a cloth suit? Uh, you should cast a magic spell. Blink away from him. What are you doing here anyway? This area is supposed to be off limits to the likes of you. Us uh, specifically? We, um, well. well, you see, we're the ones defending a spell of Cantabella. Oh, ho, ho. Then you must be the Sir Blue Knight that all the town is talking about. He sure is! Bluest knight in all the land. Oh my god, a Constantine Phoenix Wright game would be the best game ever. <laughs> That's right, I'm the Blue Knight. Huh, you look a little green for a knight, if you ask me. Excuse me. Uh, thanks? Well, feel free to investigate the area. Over in the square, they're setting up the special outside court to be used in the upcoming trial. Good night, Majita Milkshake. Good night. We vigilantes are spread thin guarding here, so do your best to keep out of the way. Well, there he goes. You know, Nick, you're becoming quite the celebrity around here. She's flirting. She's flirting with him. I'm not sure celebrity is quite the right word. Hmm. What's up, Nick? It looks like the vigilante that ran into me just dropped something. Oh. What was that? Looks like some kind of patrol record for the guards. Oh ho! Patrol could use, record. Could use that. Didn't know what was written here. It looks like they've been taking turns guarding this bell tower 24/7. You mean they've been guarding it around the clock? Why would they do that? Beats me. But the important thing here is the fact that it was under close guard at the time the incident took place. All right. So I guess it would have been impossible to just stroll in through the front door, huh? Exactly. Anyway, it might be a good idea to hold on to this for now. So anyway, where are we? All right, off to see the crime scene. Better have a look before another dork in a tin can shows up. All right, got a vigilante's record. We're, we're assembling our case items yep. here. Oh God, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Ugh. Looks like they left the crime scene completely untouched. Yeah, even that flower the boss threw at them is still all over the place. That seems like it might be important. Hmm. I still can't believe she took on a bunch of fully armed vigilantes. With only a bag of white flour and a rolling pin, too. Just goes to show how much Patty cares for Espella, huh? Of course she does. After all, Espella's like family. Bye, Chaos. That's another reason we just have to rescue Espella, Nick. That's right. Then what are we waiting for? Let's bust out that magnifying glass and get this search on the road. All right. Oh, God, see that shiny Immediately. thing. Immediately. 
Let's look around and see. Oh, if don't coins. you fucking dare look around. Click on the shiny. Let's see. Are the things over oh, here? Oh, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm just torturing Amanda now. Click on the shiny. This one over here. Click on the shiny. Over here. Stop. Let's look at go his coat. <laughs> I wonder what this is. Looks like a robe to me. A robe? Say, this reminds me of the robes those weirdos in the Eldritch Woods were wearing. <laughs> those weirdos. Come on, Nick. Try it on. Try it on. Don't do it. Don't do it, Nick. You've got to be kidding. This thing's drenched from all the rain. And besides, it's covered in that flower patty threw all over the place. It's going to be super gross. Hey, I guess you're right. It does look pretty beat up, huh? And that flower's not coming off easily. It's all stuck to the wet robe. <laughs> you know, I can't put my finger on it, but there's something weird about this robe. Weird? Remember when we first arrived here? I could swear there was nothing like this lying around, was there? Huh. I'm not really sure, but I sure don't recall seeing it. This robe's pretty big. It looks like it would fit someone my size. I guess that means it can't be a spell as since she's small and aerodynamically built like yours truly. Anyway, it may provide a useful clue. Let's make a record of it for now. Hey, get that soggy thing away from me. Oh boy. Flower covered robe. Click on the shiny. Okay, okay, okay. Look at the shiny. We're doing the shiny. Thank you. Whoa. Look at this. It's a pendant. The leather strap seems to have broken. Is that blood on it? Wait, I know this. This is... it's... a spell as pendant. Oh, man. I, I knew I'd seen it somewhere before. Anyway, we should pick it up before one of those dorks sees it. <laughs> I love Maya. Come on, Nick, quickly. Just pop it in your pocket. That's how trials work. <laughs> okay, that. okay, I'm on it already. Don't have to document any of the evidence. So what's this thing in the corner? It's like a picture or a piece of paper. Yes, this looks interesting. Hey, this looks like a floor plan of the tower. Hey, you're right, but I don't remember seeing it here before. I guess the vigilantes must have been using it for their investigation and left it behind when they hurried off. Uh huh. Oh. According to this floor plan, there's a bell on the floor above this one. Is that the giant bell that was under the ruins? It may be the bell of ruin. Oh my god. Well, it is a bell tower. It'd be kind of strange if there was no bell. Is it a big silver bell? It looks like it. Silver bells. There's no sign of any ladder leading up to the next level. Or even a step ladder. Does that mean the bell can't be rung? For best, don't ring it. Anyway, Nick, this floor plan could be useful. Hurry up and stash it in your pocket. Maya, I hate to think that you, what you have stashed away in that spirit medium's outfit. It's all burgers. It's hates. <laughs> <laughs> it's called being decisive, Nick. Come on, we're doing this for a spell, remember? Well, yeah, I hadn't forgotten. Oh, so we have some pretty great stuff. Getting, getting a nice start. Getting a nice yeah, start. What, what is this? Here? Is this just the bag of flour? It's hard to click on it. Here's the bag of flour Mrs. Eclair ah. used to hit those knights. Looks like it's still all over the place. Boy, the boss sure is something, huh, Nick? Now that's the power of love. The bag of flour was brought here after the parade, so it won't really be any, of any use as evidence. It's only on one corner. What's this? A control panel? I wonder what it's for. Whoa. Looks like a puzzle to me. There's a control panel. Shouldn't there be a lever or a button or something? Wait a sec. What's that? <gasps> uh, for a spell as pendant! <laughs> somewhere to put the pendant. There seems to be some kind of recess here. Looks like something fits inside of it. Hey, nice catch, Maya. That recess. I've seen something shaped like that before. Ah! The shape! It's a spell as pendant! Kind of looks like You're right! Too. It's a spell as pendant! I knew I'd seen that shape before! But why? Why would her pendant fit inside this recess? Don't ask me! Spirit channeling, supernatural possession, these are things. These, those are things I know, Nick. <laughs> well, seeing as we don't know, there's only one way to find out. Let's slot it in there and see what happens! That's. <laughs> okay, calm down. I guess there's no harm in trying unless it rings the bell and someone's a oh, dragon to burn the entire city. Oh. Whoa! Hold it right there, sir. Suspicious blue knight. Huh. Who, me? Yes, you. What exactly are you up to? Um, 
Well, we're just, you know, carrying out our investigation. Bah, you can't fool me. That thing you just picked up. The thing that even as we speak you are attempting to conceal in your pocket, what is it? Oh, you mean this little thing? It's a, well, I guess you call it a pendant. It's my gift for Maya. Thanks it's for uh, it. absolutely nothing to do with that whole crazy incident just now. I swear Nick's attorney badge on it. Enough. <laughs> Maya. I saw it all of it. Every single move from beginning to end, including just now. That right there is the one piece of evidence I was looking forward to coming back and picking up myself. It was shining really, really obviously. Whoa. I saw it too. Me three. Me four. Now then, hand over that important piece of evidence. Now! Oh, shoot. No, Espella's pendant. No! Uh, no! <laughs> Snatched away from us just like that. I must report this to the High Inquisitor immediately. Me too, I'll accompany you, Chief. Me three, me four. There they go with a spell as pendant. And I was totally planning on giving it back to her the next time I saw her. <laughs> but more than that, I so wanted to try fitting the pendant into that recess panel. I just want to do it so bad. Just want to see what happened. What now? No way is that panel just there for decoration. I better add it to my items for future reference. Huh, okay. <coughs> Clever. Attention, everyone. Oh. The preparations of this evening's special outside courtroom have now been completed. We are going to be outside. Summon the High Inquisitor. It is time we prepared for the trial. Each and every citizen shall no doubt wish to bear witness on this evening's trial. Overcrowding is to be anticipated. All officers to their stations. Let's help this final court session find a proud place within Labyrinthia's history. Nick! Looks like we're out of time, Maya. I guess that's the end of this investigation. You think we'll be alright? We didn't really have time to finish. We did what we could in the time we had. Let's go. I have a feeling a spell is going to be moved to the defendant's waiting room soon. You know, Nick? Hmm? What? I've been thinking. It's no accident that you and I found ourselves in Labyrinthia. Maya. The reason we're here is for the trial tonight. Maya, and those other trials. <laughs> I know what you mean. I think so, too. And I'm sure Professor Layton and Luke feel the same way. I just know they'll bring back a clue or two to save Espella. Yeah, you're right. That means we've got to give this trial everything we've got, Maya. Okay, Nick. Let's do this thing. You bet. We'll do what we do best. We'll fight for the very fight to the very end for a spella. Yeah, for a spella. And for Barnum, who's in the dungeon. <laughs> to be continued. Oh man. So the actual trials next? It sounds like the trials next. I want the trial. Do you want to keep going? I'm ready. Oh, we're not even... Oh. I thought we were starting the trial, but we have to do... Layton. Luke and Layton stuff first. Okay, getting close, getting close. Professor? What is it, my boy? What do you think about what happened tonight? <laughs> hmm, on the surface, it certainly did appear that the storyteller's assailant could be none other than Espella. But surely not. However, even if it did seem that way, that does not necessarily make it the truth. And it transpires that Espella is in fact innocent, then there must be some form of contradiction or proof to support as much. Yes, you're right. <laughs> Looks like me. <laughs> I'll bet Mr. Wright won't miss even the slightest shred of evidence. Mm. Mr. Wright and Maya are investigating the scene of the crime as we speak. We, meanwhile, must search for something to prove Espella's innocence. In doing so, the truth should become evident, as a matter of course. I see. In the time that I spent with Espella, I've never once doubted her character. Really? There's just no way she could do anything as terrible as what happened in that square. I believe in her, Professor. I know you do, Luke. We are Espella's friends, and as such, we must believe in her. Always believe in your friends. Even Too if you've been right. accused of murder. Don't even worry about it. First, let's try to make our way through the gate. 
You guys are ridiculous in chat. Uh-oh, the door's still locked. Still locked. And there are no knights here to open it. And if there were, they probably wouldn't. Woof, woof, woof. Oh, Constantine. What's the matter, Constantine? Ruff, ruff, ruff. Woof. He has a key, I think. That's great, thanks. He says I look awesome. <laughs> oh, and there's another way in which only the knights know about. That's a relief. Could you show us the way, Constantine? He's, woof. So, he's so nice woof. to them. Woof, woof. He only, oh, it's Riddell. Riddell, do we want to do a bunch of puzzles that we missed? No, I kind of don't care. Not at all. Let's go on with the story. Are there hate coins? No. Have we been here before? Have we been here before? Yeah, we have been here. Thankfully, the helpful dog showed us another way in. He did? What is the other way? No one's here. Not even anyone to open the gate. What, what other way? Let's just move. Let's keep on moving. Ah. Yeah, we have been through all here. I'm just double checking. Yep. Yep. We've done all this. Okay. Alright. The Knight's Garrison. Who'd have thought the storyteller would come to such an end? I'm still finding it hard to believe even now. I mean, what's to become of us? Oh, wish I knew. I'm more worried about Inquisitor Barnum. He's being held on suspicion of treason. This whole thing is just one big headache. No matter what, the future ain't looking too bright. Enough of your pathetic whining. You call yourselves knights? Oh, this guy. Oh, Captain. The storyteller's gone! Inquisitor Barnum's gone! And who do you think suffering the most because of it? The townsfolk, that's who! It's now that they need us the most! We must be there for them to offer our support! Yes, sir, that's certainly true, but with things the way they are, what can we possibly do? Pitiful! Hmm? Over there! Isn't that... <laughs> it would appear even the knights are unsettled, my boy. What's going to become of Labyrinthia now? Well, according to the final story, once all this is sorted out, there will be fresh hope for the future. So it's a little early to be losing heart just yet. I hope you're right. Let's do our best to make it so, Professor. What's this? Someone's coming this way. Isn't that... <laughs> and what are you two doing here? We're heading for the Storyteller's Tower. There may be something left to uncover, so we're going now to find out. Did you say the Storyteller's Tower? Uh-oh. I hope this doesn't mean we're about to be surrounded by knights pointing swords at us again. I hope... I hope so. <laughs> woof woof, ruff, ruff woof. Woof! Well, if it isn't little Constantine! Hmm! No, I see! This must mean you're working on behalf of Inquisitor Barnum! Oh, of course it does. Well, in that case, the tower's up ahead! You may proceed! In fact, I insist that you proceed! I have a feeling there's some unfinished business that only you can take care of! For all of our sakes, go there, fulfill your quest, go and do it. And in doing so, show us all that there is still hope for the future. Level up, Renthia. Yada, yada, yada. <sighs> Captain. Very well. We shan't let you down. Let's go, Luke. He does know that Barnum's in the dungeon, though. The storyteller's tower stands right ahead of us. Right you are, Professor. Huh. Maybe he's just helping us. Oh, it's so dark and spooky. Look, I can see the tower right over there. But how do we get to it? I believe this may be where our little friend comes in handy. Wouldn't you say, Luke? Right, of course. <laughs> yes. <laughs> woof, 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 ruff. Ruff, woof, woof, ruff. <laughs> hmm, I see. You're saying there's a path? He says there's a path, leading from behind <laughs> the audience room right over to the storyteller's tower. One could hardly ask for a better guide, well. except for one that perhaps spoke English. <laughs> Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> oh, really? He just said, you've nothing to worry about while I'm here. It's definitely not a trap. Don't worry. Everything's fine. <laughs> and then he added, you might want to worry about that Sir Blue Knight, though. Uh -oh. He's kind of a putz. I hope Mr. Wright and Meyer were able to come across some clues. I don't think we need to worry too much about them. I'm sure they'll be all right. Wouldn't you agree, my boy? Of course, Professor. While I was teaming up with Mr. Rort, one thing became clear to me. He's definitely someone that will always do his best to protect his friends. Aww. I agree, Luke. He's a fine young lawyer with a heart of gold, unlike me, who has an everything of gold. <laughs> An empty heart. <laughs> An empty heart. 
and a bloody heart that courses through it. I'm quite confident the trial is safe in his capable hands. Me too. Also, he's the only lawyer among them, so... And then there's Maya, always strong and courageous. Not to mention full of energy. She's a bit reckless sometimes, but always with good intent. And so lovely. We're lucky to have them on our side. Oh, I'm really glad we met them, aren't you, Professor? Yes, Luke. I'd certainly agree with you there. By the way, remember, this is Professor Layton versus Ace Attorney. <laughs> That's the name of the game. And they've b just been gushing over each other the entire time. <laughs> they cannot stop gushing versus, over each other. Versus, as in, how much, who can... Who can show who loves the more the most? But at the same time, Hank, who's a dark law, will be a most formidable opponent. One likely to make any careless slips. Unlikely. Which is why we must all do our best and work together. Including me, Roy. Nope. Of oh, course. Of course. I certainly couldn't do this without you, Luke. You're definitely not just someone here for me to talk to. Mm -hmm. With little to add whatsoever. Don't worry, Professor. I'll give it everything I've got. That's the spirit, my boy. He's gonna work so hard, one day he might actually put his suspenders on. As opposed to just letting them flop under his sweater the entire time. <laughs> uh, uh? This is an ominous bridge. Have we seen this bridge yet? No. Wow, you don't realize how tall the tall... How tall the tower... Tall, 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 tall. How tall the tower is <laughs> until you see it up close like this. It certainly looks ominous in the moonlight. There's a vital clue waiting for us here, isn't there, Professor? That's what I'm counting on, Luke. And it would seem that Inquisitor Barnum had the same idea. That would explain why Constantine's helping us. So this is the tower in which the Creator resides. The tower that none of the townsfolk, nor even the knights, dare visit. It's surrounded in secrecy, that's for sure. It's a bit like the Eldritch Woods. Indeed. Those which are certainly an enigma in themselves. Not to mention those underground ruins talk about mysterious places. So many mysteries that we'll never solve. If the storyteller really did know everything about Labyrinthia, I'd have liked to have asked him a thing or two about them. It's possible there may be clues related to those places, as well as a number of other matters waiting for us within that tower. In which case, there could also be any manner of traps or contrivances awaiting us as well. Contrivances? Yeah. That's a word no one uses. We shall have to be doubly careful from here on in. Got it, Professor. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> You've what? You've completed your mission? I don't, what? He says he's worried about his master and wants to return to him now. We couldn't have come this far without your fine guidance, Constantine. Here's a doggy treat. We can take it from here. Kick some off into the water. <laughs> woof, woof, gruff, woof, woof. Oof. Constantine says we're the ones his master chose, so he knows he can leave this quest with us in good faith. We're honored, Constantine. Thank you for your help. Yes, thanks a lot. Take care on your way back. Oof. Inquisitor Barnum loves his... Oh, Inquisitor Townham loves this town more than anyone and has done his utmost to protect it. Let's bear that in mind too, Luke. We have a responsibility to fight to the end, for him and for everyone else in this town. Oh, I'm ready if you are, Professor. Oh, I'm ready. All right. Hank ah, coins! Coin. Yeah. This is going to be such a hard trial. We're going to need to use 176 Hank coins. <laughs> you don't 174 know. 174 would don't not be sufficient. In the cloud, really funny. <laughs> oh. Come on. There you go. Look, Professor, you can see the ocean from here. We must be at the coast of Labyrinthia. The ocean? The sea is tre quite tranquil here. There's not a ship or light for miles. It's a little concerning, I think, actually. I guess the breath could be that. It's in, in the, the moon. moon! It's a moon coin! Well, never mind. Wonderful moon coins. Okay. A puzzle! We, The storyteller... Seems to be dead. a confirmed casualty, I but honestly, we haven't seen a body. Yeah, I don't so know. So I don't even know if he's dead. It seems the mechanisms put in place to protect the tower are still operating. Does that mean we can't get inside? No, I wouldn't say so. This particular mechanism is in the form of a puzzle. If we solve it, perhaps we can enter. Alright, here we go. Anyone want some of this? Uh-oh, are we playing Sudoku? 
There are 12 gems, each of them numbered one between 1 and 12. There's also a set of three triangles with gems already inside them. Keep in mind, these gems cannot be moved. Place the gems from your hand so that the sum of all the numbers on each triangle's perimeter adds up to 39. We are oh playing, my we are God. playing Sudoku. I will be useless in this puzzle. To a certain, to a certain degree. So, the, the sums of, on each triangle's perimeter. Okay. So, hmm. So that means there are three, three triangles okay. that come down here. So three three dots have to make 39? Yes, so, man, I'm almost going to like pull up a calculator here on the side. Okay. Just so I can like do basic addition over and over again. Okay. While we think on it. Sure. I would almost put this in the stream, but I don't know a way to do that quickly and reliably. So let's see. Nine plus eight plus five is already 22. So that gives us 17 total to work with. So that means... Really, let's see, and we have three numbers to put in. So how do we get to 17 reliably? 2, 4, and 11? Did you just do it? Well, this one added up correctly. So oh. one level works. Okay. That doesn't mean that all the levels work. I got So you. these may need to move, but that is a correct sum for that amount. Okay. So two plus six plus five plus nine equals, again, 22. So we need two things that equal seven, which would be potentially 10 and seven. Huh? I, I don't even know. Does that look good? I'm assuming so, yes. 1 plus 7 plus 3 plus 6 plus 10 equals 27. Oh my god. Did you do it right? I'm a math flipping genius. Good job! I would have been like, mm. <laughs> That's amazing. Good job. Oh my. You're really good at these puzzles. Allow me to show I used you to puzzle solving do these skills. for fun when I was but a wee child. Ah, Sudoku or puzzles in general? Solving puzzles. puzzles in general. I did do some Sudoku. Huh. I think the harder version is in the bonus content. Okay. Oh, a shiver runs down your spine as the door opens and an eerie silence fills the air. Just what awaits you on the other side. Ooh. Professor, you did it. Professor, shouldn't you be happy that you did it? <laughs> Doesn't it seem peculiar to you, Luke? A puzzle here? To get here, we had to make our way beyond the guard post and through the knight's garrison. That would normally be considered sufficient defense against intruders, or so one would imagine. Yeah, I guess you're right. There were several knights around as well. And yet, in addition, we found that contrivance in place on the door. It would suggest to me that something of great importance must be contained within. Let's go on and find out, Professor. 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 Puzzles have been on every door so far. Really? To be continued here? That's kind of quick. Whatever. Oh my. I wonder if we're not going to get to see what they find until during the trial. That's ah. actually what I was expecting. When you split it, yeah. Save it and let's keep going. Yeah, I think that this may be the actual trial now. Because uh, I, I was yeah. actually expecting us to not go and follow them at all. Yep. Because it seemed right to withhold information from us until it becomes relevant in the trial whenever they show back up. So yeah, I think this now is the trial. Fantastic. I'm ready. 